2023, a revelation surfaced, exposing that 62% of Abi Ahmed's doctoral dissertation was plagiarized. This discovery, brought to public attention by Alex Dawal. Despite the shocking disclosure, Addis Ababa University has opted not to initiate a review, reassessment, or invalidation of the doctoral degrees conferred upon Abi Ahmed and several high-ranking officials. There is a prevailing belief that fear plays a significant role in Addis Ababa University's decision not to address the allegations of plagiarism in Abi Ahmed's doctoral degree. For half a century, Addis Ababa University has stood as one of Ethiopia's premier educational institutions, boasting an esteemed reputation. However, since the ascent of the Tigray People's Liberation Front to power, the university, along with others, has faced allegations of compromising its academic standards. There have been claims that degrees were conferred upon senior officials without their having attended a single class. My name is Abiy Ahmed. I'm going to present my PhD proposal. Abi obtained his PhD from the Institute of Peace and Security Studies, IPSS, at Addis Ababa University in 2017. According to Alex Dawal's findings, a substantial 62% of the dissertation is alleged to be plagiarized. For a more detailed exploration of this investigation, Please refer to the link provided in the description below. To Alex DeWall, he's executive director of the World Peace Foundation at the Tufts Union. I'm pleased to call on Alex DeWall, who is a leading thinker on Africa. Hey, good day, everybody. It's uh, Jim Stavridis, the dean at the Fletcher School of Law and Diplomacy, and I'm joined today by a friend and a colleague, Alex DeWall. Alex has an unbelievably impressive background in. Andrew Decor, a scholar with a doctorate in religious and political ethics from the University of Chicago, has been actively engaged in teaching ethics, public theology, and Ethiopian studies at prestigious institutions such as Wheaton College, the Ethiopian Graduate School of Theology, and the University of Bonn. Notably, Decor has leveled accusations against Abi Ahmed, alleging that someone else wrote his doctoral dissertation. Abi did not write his doctoral dissertation. Someone else wrote it for him. Alex Dawal recounts the pivotal moment when Abi Ahmed defended his dissertation at the university. During this crucial event, Abi showed up with senior member of the Oromo People's Democratic Organization, General Abdullah Gemede, Workine Gebeyahu, and Shimilis Abdisa. Friends of Abi Form Security and Intelligence were also in attendance. The dominating influence exerted by his peers and associates aimed to intimidate and corrupt the process. In such a tense environment, it's unlikely that any professor would decline to award a doctorate degree. Evidently, Abi Ahmed successfully obtained his doctorate. In 2015, General Abadullah Gemeda, the former president of the Oromia region, came under scrutiny as revelations emerged about his possession of two counterfeit degrees. One said, love and never die. So if there is a love, a trust between us, never die. Workane Gebeyehu is now executive secretary of the Intergovernmental Authority on Development. The national level road length is increased from 37,000 to 100,000 2011-12. Road density increased from 33.65 km per thousand in 2002-03 to 90.9 km per thousand in 2011-12. As a result, the average... Academic institutions 
bear the responsibility of revoking degrees and in instances of falsification or plagiarism. Breaching academic standards is not a trivial transgression, as the credibility of the academic realm relies heavily on the integrity of examiners and peer reviewers. If a previously esteemed university confers degrees for reasons beyond academic merit, it jeopardizes both its reputation and the worth of the degrees it grants. The failure of Addis Ababa University to hold Abi Ahmed accountable by revoking his degree sets a concerning precedent in Ethiopia. By not taking decisive action, the university sends a message to its students that cheating or unethical practices can go unpunished, potentially undermining the principles of academic integrity. This leniency could inadvertently encourage a culture of dishonesty within the academic community, suggesting that shortcuts to success are acceptable. This will ultimately affect the entire nation.